Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an awesome to-do list app. And it's going to be a simple to-do list app so almost anyone can follow along in this video. At the end of this video, you will have a nice to-do list app where you can add items and have a look at your items and even swipe left to delete those items. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video and I will show you how to do it. So in order for us to create our to-do list app, we need a new Xcode project. This time it's not going to be a single view application, but it's going to be a tabbed application and I will show you why later. So let's click on next and let's name this to-do and save it wherever you want to. And uh, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take a look at our storyboard and we are going to start laying out our storyboard or just taking a look at our storyboard. Now I like to operate with an iPhone SE. And as you can see, we have two view controllers. We have a first view controller and let's also try to launch this so I can show you what this is all about. But we have a first view controller and we have a second view controller. And as you can see, we also have a bar item at the bottom right here so that we can navigate easily between these two view controllers. So let's try to see how this looks when we run the app. So this is how our app looks right now. We have our first view controller, and then when we click right here, we have our second view controller. So this just provides us with a nice interface that the user can navigate with. And here we are going to have a table that displays our to-do list items. And then when we click here, the user will have the opportunity or the option to add a new to-do list item. So let's jump straight into this and let's drag in some of the elements that we need. And we're going to first concentrate only about the first view controller. So what we need is we need only one thing and that is a table view. We need something that is going to display our to-do list items and a table view just happens to be the best alternative. So I'm going to add some constraints so that it looks nice and ordered. And then I'm going to create a prototype cell where I simply define how all the cells are going to look. So click the prototype cell and then name it an identifier that you will have to remember because we're going to refer back to this later. So I'm just going to name it cell. And this is really all we have to do in our storyboard right now. The only thing that I'm also going to do is I'm just going to drag in our view controller and name it my, I mean my table view, my table view, going to connect it. And then we also have to control drag from the table view to this yellow button right here and click on data, data source and delegate. So this basically gives our code access to this table view so that we can do all kinds of fancy stuff with it. And we need to add two delegates also. So we need to add a UI table view delegate. See this one right here. And we need a UI table view data source. So that's the two things we need. And now we are going to get the functions in order to set up our table view. But first, before we forget it, we need our to-do list items. So I'm just going to create a list and I'm going to prop some to-do list items into this array. So the first one is uh, buy milk. The second one is uh, run five miles. And the third one is get Peter. He is somewhere and needs to be, um, yeah. And uh, the last item that we're going to write is uh, plant my new plants. Makes a lot of sense, but that is what our person has to do. So that's our to-do list item. And now our challenge is going to be to populate our table view with those items. So what we do is we click the command button, hold that in while we click UI table view data source. This will give us access to all the functions that we can use, but we only need two or three really but first we only need two. So I'm going to search for number of rows and make sure that you get these two functions right here. So the number of rows and cell for row at index path. 
and we're going to go back and paste them in and remove all the excess that we don't need. And let's write some code in these functions. As you can see, this one needs an integer return. And what this uh, number is, is the number of rows that we want in our table view. So here we basically define how many rows we want in our table view. Now I want my number of rows to be equal to the amount of items that I have in my to-do list. So I'm just going to say list.count, which makes a lot of sense because you want each item to, do, to have their own cell. That's all set up and now we're going to populate the table view with some text. So we're going to define a cell and it's going to be UI table view cell and have the style, going to have a default style and the reuse identifier was the identifier that we gave our prototype cell which was cell. Then we're also going to add in some text so the cell dot, um, um, dot text label question mark dot text because we don't know if it really exists although we do but it wants a question mark there and then is equal to list and then index path dot row this way we go through all the items in this array and then we return turn cell because that is what, it's want, what it wants it wants a UI table view cell returned so that is what we're returning it with so here you can run your app and just see that everything runs as it should which it does but I'm not going to run it because my computer does melt when I tend to do that uh, so I'm just going to continue on here with adding in the function so that we can delete items now again we just click here and we search for commit editing let's see commit Let's try to find this. It's right here. So this is the function that you want. And this will allow us to remove an item or delete an item simply by swiping left. So this is something that you have seen very often if you use your iPhone. It's just that famous left swipe to delete an item. So first of all, we are going to check if the swipe was a delete swipe. So if editing style was equal to UI table view cell editing style dot delete. Now, if it was a delete swipe, then we are going to say list dot remove, 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 let's see if I can spell remove at, let's see, remove right there. I think it's that one, it's new in Xcode 8, but I'm just going to go with that one. It's probably the right one. And then I'm going to say index path dot row. So we get the exact item that the user wants to delete. And then we're going to call on my table view and just reload all data. So update the table. And now we are going to try to, I think we might need a self here because we're within a closure. So let's try to run it. Although my computer is going to melt, I'm going to show you what we have done so far. Okay, fair enough. We have to make this a var so that we can edit our to-do list because that's, that's a pretty um, great thing to be able to do to edit your own to-do list. So let's see how everything looks right now. And now we should be displayed with the to-do list items and the option to delete an item if it has been completed. So here is our items, as you can see. Now, if we, let's see, we don't need this. If we now go for a left swipe, let's see, go for a left swipe, we're being presented with a delete and we click delete and it's being removed. So now we only have two items in our array and everything is working beautifully, exactly as it should. But now let's close this one. But now we are going to take it a step further and enable our user to add an item to their to-do list. And we're going to make this very simple. Of course, you can also add notes and all that good stuff to each item. But we are just going to have a text field where we're going to write the name of the to-do list item. We're going to make that pretty large. Let's see, so that a long to-do list item can fit in there. And then we're going to drag in a button 
so that we can add the item. So I'm just going to call this button add item. The background color is going to be a nice blue color and I'm going to make the text white and I'm going to stretch the button a bit wider so that we can see all the text. And you can also add in a placeholder by clicking the text field and writing uh, to do list item. And this will remove itself when the user clicks in that text field. So now we're going to connect it up with our code. Just make sure that you select the second view controller. Let's see, bam, bam. Let's select the second view controller. And then let's drag in our elements. So first our text field, and I always like to call this input. And then we're going to have an action button, add item. Just make sure that it's an action and then connected. And this is basically all that we need uh, for this section. So we're going to just jump over to the second view controller and just focus our attention right here. But one thing before I forget, one thing that we need to do is we need to head over to our first view controller, copy this and make it global so that it's accessible by all our view controllers. So now we are going to add the new item and the new item is going to be the text of the input. So we are going to say list dot append, see, list dot append and then our new item which is going to be input dot text and what append basically means is add on this item so now we have in fact added this item to our array is there something i've forgotten okay what we could do is check okay we should we, sh we should probably do this we check if the input dot text is uh, if there is an input there. So if it is not equal to empty, then we're going to add the item into our array or our to-do list queue. So we're checking if the user ha has actually inputted something and if he or she has, we are adding it to the array. So now it is in the array, but now what we're going to do is we're going to refresh this array each time we go back again. But what we also should do is just say input.text is equal to zero so that the user can input some new text. Then we're going to head over to the first view controller and we are going to call a function each time this uh, is being displayed. So each time our user jumps back to our first view controller again, so our to-do list uh, table view, then it's going to refresh. So we need a function that's called um, view did appear and each time our view appears we are going to refresh our table view dot reload data and now we are going to run our application and if we have done everything correctly it should work smoothly and be up to the task of displaying our to-do list items. So here is our table view and I mean our to-do list app and here we have our items so let's try to delete get Peter because we don't want to get him we don't want to collect him at his school so we're going to delete that and instead we are going to say uh, buy some awesome groceries forevers yeah let's say forevers we need some forever no okay and uh, the thing you could do about this is just add a background image or just uh, Let's see, you could really just delete it like this if you don't want it, probably the best thing to do. But here we have a new item and we click add item. Now we go back and we see bit some awesome grocery. So everything is working as it should. Let's see, just writing this add item and here we have it. We can delete it because no one understands what it means. So once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you have a lot of fun with your to-do list app. If you have and you thought this tutorial was awesome, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you stay tuned for future videos. And once again, thank you for watching.